Hey guys, what's up? I'm taking a break from studying. <clears throat> like, a whole break. Oh, I got good news. I've got an algebra book. And guess what year it is? 93. The year I've graduated. <clears throat> but it's not my book. But it's pre-algebra. And guess what? I've been doing it, man. Look, see? It's not that hard. It's like, really, not that freaking hard. <clears throat> All right, so I thought pre-algebra was like really, really major and hard, but apparently it's not really that hard. I guess when I get into the geometry and trigonometry and geomet geomet geometrics, yeah, that's when I, I'm gonna be a little bit lost. Stuff like that. See? I don't know stuff like that. All this kind of stuff. I hope my job don't have nothing to do with any of this stuff because I don't know it. <clears throat> Alright, so I decided I'll go ahead and take the time out. Sorry, my dog is scratching or shaking. Which he shouldn't be because he got a bath. <clears throat> um, let's say so. <clears throat> um, I'm taking the time out to do one of these topics, probably both of these topics, two and one. Uh, the hip rolling one I have to do later. Right now, my stomach's kind of like. Uh, it ain't gonna happen. So, the hip rolling request, I'm sorry. I can't do that right now. I'm in pain. <clears throat> but, um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, my sinuses are draining. And, you know, when you sleep, or if you sleep on your back, you know how in the back of your throat it feels like it's just sitting there. That's what it's doing to me, so I'm sorry. I keep. <clears throat> That's why. I'm trying to get it off, the mucus off the back of my throat. <clears throat> but, um, okay, so. I guess I can do the boring sub. Well, it's not really a boring topic, but. Um, I, I have witnessed. I am a witness of drinking a lot of caffeine since I've been taking them pills that I take now to keep my T levels high until I can afford to get my testosterone, which I can't wait. Um, so, I realize I've, I've drank Coke, but not that much. Um, I think sometimes you, instead of people, most people have a rush for coffee, and most people have a rush for a soda. Main thing with caffeine in it, caffeine drink. <clears throat> so, I would say, I, I, don't, I mean, I really don't know why you drink a lot of soda. Um, and is it because of you being on tea? <clears throat> you could be craving something that is in the soda or in the caffeine, besides caffeine itself, you know. But it could be that you just have a caffeine rush right now. I mean, I do sometimes. It tends to come and go uh, time to time, but, you know, one moment I might be in a mood for a candy bar, you know, with a soda. Next moment I might not even want no soda. You know, same thing with, I mean, just probably right now you just fix, your fixing is on that caffeine rush to happen. It's not like 
you're addicted to it. And I don't know. You can always substitute. I drink tea. I used to drink tea 24 7. And I'll drink tea like once in a blue moon unless I'm sick. You know? Um, it depends. I mean, it's just one. It's a craving. You know, people crave chocolate and once in a blue moon. So, you know, if you don't crave. You might crave chocolate now and then maybe give next month. You might not crave it anymore. You know? It's just your body's just wanting that fixing on something. Since it's it's something new that you're taking, which is testosterone. Men tend to drink a lot of beer, um, caffeine drinks, energy drinks. You know, especially energy drinks. Caffeine, right there. The energy drink is caffeine. So your your body's men's we're, we're that rush. You know what I'm saying? That that that's what you're craving. As a man, there's certain things you're going to crave that when you wasn't on tea that you didn't crave at all, you know. But, I mean, that's my thoughts on it because right now I realize I crave a lot of stuff that I didn't even crave for. I realize I'm eating stuff I never thought I, I would never ever eat, you know. Or I have a craving for vegetables. When I was a kid, man, you couldn't, if it wasn't broccoli, that was it. Broccoli and cheese. Or macaroni and cheese was it. That was only vegetables you was going to give me. Or some corn. Okay, corn. But that was it. Them three, that's it. I'm eating uh, zucchini and and and, and um, rutabakers and stuff that I've never ate before. And cauliflower. I mean, I'm eating them all, you know. And I don't have no problem with it. I don't know why, you know. I guess as a man, you eat everything. I guess that's why you get big. Um, so, I would say maybe that's the reason why. I don't know exactly, like 100%, but maybe it's because of something in the tea. It's just, you know, as a man, you're going to have a craving for a lot of stuff that you know that you would eat. Or if you have never in, was in the soda and now you're in the soda, it's, it's yeah, it could be because you're on tea. It could be, or maybe it's just your body, you know, dealing with the changes and stuff, so a lot of things you might used to eat, you might not like anymore, <laughs> I mean, it happens that way. Tea does some funky things to you, besides change you mentally a little bit, it does change your mind a little bit, but then, and not only physically, but it also can change the way you eat, what you drink, you know. There's some things you used to like, you might not like anymore because of tea. Just like your face, you know, you, certain things you used to use on your face when before tea. You realize now after being on tea, um, your face is like, it won't adapt to the stuff you used to use. And so it's kind of like irritating because you now got to find out what you can wash your face with or your body that will give you that cleansing feel feeling and not make your face feel irritated because you got now facial hair you know so you're not the same way you used to be when you're pre-tea so a lot of stuff you used to use you can't use and a lot of stuff you used to eat you don't eat and a lot of stuff now you were craving you used to name crave so yeah your body changes a lot when you're on tea <clears throat> I'm, I'm seeing a lot of guys now want to be like these muff muff like, um, protein gym buffs, or whatever you want to call them, muscle, muscle guys, you know, since they're on tea and they like the result they get, they want to stay in the gym, you know what I'm saying, uh, meathead, that's what they call them, meathead, because <laughs> you want to stay in the gym all the time, you want to get buff and walk, I don't want to be all like that, <laughs> and I'm sorry, that's not me, but, um, yeah, I realize I ground on my teeth a lot when I'm, I used to never do that, but I gotta get a gar, and you already know, that's, this was from low iron, my iron was low, and um, I was grinding on my teeth when I was little, but, yeah. alright guys, I think I talked too much, later.